Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. And a big thank you to each and every one of you for your big support. Continue subscribing to our channel and we will continue. We will push it and we will continue enlightening our citizens on the electoral justice in this country. I will be mixing Swahili and English as I always do so that my point can be home clear and precise, ladies and gentlemen. Um... You know, there is what we call respect for people who have done their job. Kuheshimu wale watu ambao wamefanya kazi zao unapoingia ofisini. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency William Samoe Ruto, who took over from President Uhuru Kenyatta. And um just to lay a background on what I'm going to respond to today is why Uhuru Kenyatta turned down uh, a request to attend an AU meeting where William Ruto had appointed him during uh, the inaugural speech. But let me say this. Personally, I expected that William Ruto, Anapo Ingia Officini, as much as they had political disagreements, he had every obligation to respect his predecessor, that is Uhuru Kenyatta. Hata kama walikosana kisiasa na mnagani, lazima angempatia heshma. But ladies and gentlemen, I was surprised that when William Ruto was giving his inaugural speech, myself I can say he humiliated the president. Why? You know, this was a highly attended meeting by the heads of state, others who have successfully worked previously with Uhuru Kenyatta. And I entirely expected that William Ruto and his deputy president could have carried along this respect until the event comes to an end. If there was a political disagreement, then they will continue discussing it later, ladies and gentlemen. But I was surprised. During the inaugural speech, for those who listened, you remember the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoe Ruto, appointed President Uhuru Kenyatta as the peace envoy for the Great Lakes region and the Horn of Africa. And I was asking myself, was this really necessary during that inaugural speech? He nikitu wangefanya badai after wageni wa meenda. Amuambia uru kenyata ndugu yangu sasa kwa sababu wewe umetoka uongo zini na utatusaidia na mambo ya kutengeneza hii na munai na munai. Wacha tufanya hii. But then, he appointed him and told him that he will continue to chair the regional peace interventions on behalf of the government of Kenya. That was the appointment by President William Ruto. And all of you, I hope you heard what he said. And you remember, I want to give you a background of President, Will, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's successful meetings um, that triggered William Ruto to publicly, to me, myself, the appointment was entirely humiliating. Mimi kulingana na mimi. Najua Ruto alikuja na our president alikuja na ile pride you know amechukua uongozi and he is able to appoint Raila he is able to appoint Uhuru Kenyatta kwa sababu walimudharau now he has the powers to appoint you know kwa hiyo kifua yote but then i want to give you the history of the former president that is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta you remember Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta put a lot of efforts uh, any moderating various initiative in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, you understand that and you saw press releases during his tenure. And you remember he has been representing the Africa continent at the United Nations Security Council since January 2021, ladies and gentlemen. And it was given around one full year because Magda, uh, uh, which country was it? Mozambique. Mozambique was to take over from next year 
that is 2023 so uh, 2023 so kenya through uhuru kenyatta was respected to represent africa the entire continent ladies and gentlemen in the united nations security council from january 2021 what a respect was that and you remember the president that is uhuru kenyatta assumed the presidency of the global security organ in the month of october 2021 i'm just giving you a background of who uhuru was ladies and gentlemen and you know uhuru kenyatta you remember the ethiopia t is was it called ethiopia tigray ethiopia tigray uh, Teg, not not tigray ethiopia ethiopia tigray conflict ladies and gentlemen and you remember that kenyatta's appointment during that day of the negotiation came just a day after the tigran uh, okay i don't know how you pronounce it but to me is the uh, tigray yes tigrarian forces had agreed that they will be negotiating with addis ababa under the uh, um can i call it under the supervision eh? under the supervision <laughs> of the african union that they expressed confidence in kenya they expressed they had agreed they had agreed that now you know yes we have agreed to negotiate with Addis Ababa, and as a party we have expressed our confidence in kenya as the chosen host for the negotiations that is during president uhuru kenyatta's tenure ladies and gentlemen and you know uhuru kenyatta was the one who was leading and playing a key role in those negotiations you understand that president uhuru kenyatta also was so instrumental in trying to broke a long lasting peace deal you know this and it's even um uh, on news between kinshasa allied government and uh, uh, and the rebels that's the german who started operating um the the mineral eastern region of the democratic republic of congo so a man with all this kind of cv a man with all this kind of praises from the whole of african continent and beyond is the one who is being humiliated to that level ladies and gentlemen okay it was good for ruto to appoint him i'm not denying but then to me it could have happened after the inauguration because this was an event attended by over 10 heads of state some have said who have been close friends to uhuru kenyatta now ladies and gentlemen uhuru kenyatta uh, expressingly because i have known uhuru as a man of humility jamaa ambaye hana maneno mengi kamwana jamaa ambaye hashughuliki na maneno mengi ya hii dunia yeye he humbled himself akasema okay sawa sawa mkubwa leo wewe ndio mudosi kama umeniteua ni sawa tu lakini tutaona na mbele so today uhuru kenyatta has given bad news to william ruto and the entire africa and um, this is what he had to respond you remember that the african union had conveyed a peace talks that was scheduled to happen tomorrow but uhuru akikumbuka ile humiliation alipewa siku ya inauguration akasema huyu jinga siwezi enda alikata alisema ile madharau nilipewa na huyu jamaa ati sasa kuna nguvu sasa ni rais anania point a former president who has served successfully for 10 years at the anania point uru kenyata akasema hiyo jinga siendi and this is what he had to respond he said regrettably i wish to notify your good office that is the african union that i will not be able to attend the au convened peace talks scheduled for october 8th that is tomorrow 2022 in south africa owing to conflicts 
in my schedule. I will be grateful to receive further clarity on the structure and modalities of the talks. Now let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, why did Uhuru do this? Of course, anaweza akasema kwamba he was engaged somewhere. Uhuru is now a retired president. He has no serious engagements. He has no serious schedule. He is a retired president and he is currently resting taking milk back at home. Uh, Brookside. Mm, nakula vizuri nyama choma na nauza chupa yake vizuri. He has no busy schedule ladies and gentlemen. To me Uhuru Kenyatta did this intentionally in response to what William Ruto did during his inaugural speech. So Uhuru Kenyatta is trying to show William Ruto that the young man yes is not a young man is our president but I'm speaking at the capacity of Uhuru Kenyatta how he views William Ruto. So I'm speaking in the shoe of Uru Kenyatta. So Uru Kenyatta uh, he looked at it and akasema eh kwa sababu ukijana alinifanyia mzaa wakati wa inauguration hiyo mkutano siende wacha ikai. So that is why he said let it be I am not attending my schedule is busy. He was literally Uru Kenyatta has literally turned down William Samuel Ruto because Kenya as a chair as a respected nation as I have highlighted there before as a nation that has been leading peace talks not only in Africa but also representing the entire continent abroad he is standing down the invite that is entirely showing William Ruto that yes, you humiliated me and hiyo kazi siwezi enda na wacha ikai ladies and gentlemen. So, what do I want to say? I want to tell our young politicians who are growing. As much as we disagree in politics, it's our responsibility to respect people who have served ahead of us. Wale watu wametufanyia kazi nzuri hata kama wametutukana even if we have disagreed in one way or another it's our duty to give them the respect they deserve ladies and gentlemen. You you know Uru Kenyatta has been William Ruto's boss. And you don't do that to your boss. No. As much as you disagreed in office you don't do that. To me, if I was asked, the appointment could have come later in a press release that yes, Uru Kenyatta is out of office as the president, but then as William Ruto, I will continue to support him in continuing to, uh, 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 to, to discharge the peace ambassadorial position in um, East African countries and other countries in Africa ladies and gentlemen lakini sasa kusoma kusema oh i have appointed my brother uru kenyatta mbele ya marais wengine aibu gani sasa but waswahili walisema mwanadamu huvuna kile alichokipanda mwenyewe god bless you ruto amepanda na kweli atavuna wakati wake ukifika god bless you thank you so much ladies and gentlemen